just outside of Las Vegas, Nevada, heading into the mountains and the canyons in this new product, the Volkswagen Beetle Dune. What's a Dune? A Dune is a special edition of the Beetle that has a little bit more of a rugged look. It's not a crossover, it's not off-road, it just is styling exercise. First of all, there's a lot of stuff you get. You get this nice spoiler around the back, you get turbo here. It's not the 2-liter turbo, it's the 1.8 great engine, we'll get to that in a moment. Now one thing about the Beetle, people forget just how functional and useful this is as an everyday car. It's got a big hatch around the back, you can fold the seats down there, it's got plenty of cargo capacity, easy to get in and out of. Volkswagen does a nice thing with their crest on the back. This is not only the lever to open the hatch, it's also where they keep their uh, backup camera and it keeps it clean, which is nice. Now this vehicle has some nice styling touches. They've tried to give it, as I mentioned, a bit of an off-road look, a dune, dune buggy, I'm not quite sure about that, but it's got plastic cladding along the bottom. They raised the ride height by 10 millimeters, they widened the track by 14 millimeters, and they've got some other styling features like dune down the side here, they've got the silver painted mirrors, it's got 18 inch wheels, and a lot of the features that you get on this car, like the uh, bi-xenon headlights and the fog lights, are part of additional packages on the regular Beetle that you uh, get with this car as standard equipment. Bold colors as well. This is quite an eye-popping car. It's been turning heads driving out of Las Vegas out here to the countryside. So it's a styling exercise. It's for somebody that wants to have something different. First of all, if you're looking at a Beetle, you already are thinking, I want something different. And this one is just a layer on top. The Dune is available in black, white, or the vibrant sandstorm yellow you see here. The color of the exterior is carried inside the car, across the doors, the dash, even the instrument cluster is colored matched. The Dune comes standard with two-tone seats comprising of leatherette and cloth, plus color matching stitching. Standard features include sport seats, but there's an available tech package that adds navigation to the 6.3-inch screen and an impressive Fender audio system. That package is $1,570. There is a surprising amount of room inside the cabin. It feels open and airy, plus the cargo area is very useful thanks to that enormous hatch. The original Beetles were fun and functional, and this latest version has it both in spades. Now, it's been a couple of years since I've driven a Beetle. The last time was in Europe. Uh, that car had a 2-liter turbocharged engine in it, and the thing is, this car now comes with a 1.8-liter turbocharged engine that's used extensively across the Volkswagen line. And getting back into this car, it reminds me of just how much I like it. It's a refined car. It's got an independent rear suspension. Older Beetles, you might remember, had a solid axle. Independent rear suspension, 170 horsepower engine, lots of torque, and this car runs on regular gasoline. You can can't row your own gears, which is a bit of a shame, but an even bigger shame in Canada is that we don't get the convertible. In the U.S., you get a convertible. In Canada, you don't. You only get this uh, coupe, and that's a shame because you've already gone all that distance to make this a special model. Make it really special. Make it available. A few thousand dollars more, get the convertible. That would be a fun, stylish looking car. And that's really what this car is. It's a styling exercise. Yes, you've got 10 millimeters of ride height. You've got a slightly stiffer sway bar in the front. But overall, I'm finding the suspension really quite compliant. What I'm not liking are the brakes. They seem a little soft, but this is a pre-production model. I have to give it a little slack for that. Well, when I first saw this Dune, I was thinking, really, who's going to want to buy this? That was until I got the price, and I came to realize it's the same price as some of the other Beetles, so why not get it? For example, the Comfort Line Beetle starts at $25,000, but when you add on the packages to get the features this car has, like the bigger 18-inch wheels, the bi-xenon headlights, the fog lights, the sport seats on the inside, and so on, actually, is a few hundred dollars more than if you get this Dune. The Dune starts at $27,000, but it gets all of the extras that I showed you and some nice features on the inside. So it really comes down to a styling exercise. It doesn't really drive any differently. It sure it has what they call a rough road suspension, but I'm finding the suspension and the way it handles just fantastic. So why not get a Dune? Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. If you'd like to watch a review of the Volkswagen Golf R, click the picture on the left.